वेलकम टू सुब्रमणी वॉट इज वन इंडिकेटर टू शो वेदर अ पर्सन विल बी वेल्थी राइट मैनी पीपल थिंक इट इज एसेट एलोकेशन देन योर इन्वेस्टमेंट नॉलेज इज ऑल दैट मैटर्स बट वॉट रियली मैटर्स इज योर इनकम लेवल देर इज नो डाउट एट ऑल दैट इट इज द टोटल इनकम बिटवीन हजबेंड एंड वाइफ Uh, which matters as to how much wealth you can create because of two three things of course you have to have investment knowledge because all the money that you earn cannot be put into bank deposits pay high taxes uh, on current income unnecessarily which means on non investment income uh, and uh, create wealth that is not possible so you need to have high income because only when you have high income can you spend reasonably well and i have my investable surplus now this high income can come from two ways one is the when i'm saying uh, when uh, when there's a couple the husband and a wife when the husband earns very well and the wife uh, uh, is a housewife that is one possibility the second possibility which is far easier is both husband and wife earning a reasonable sum of money so in the first case let's say the husband earns 50 lakhs ctc so obviously he's paid off the emi he's paying off paid off the emi and he has a surplus by which to uh, invest money but that may not be so easy what happens to a case where both the husband and wife both earn 25 lakhs then the total income remains at 50 lakhs which is perhaps easier now reduce the amount let's say there is a husband who is earning 30 lakhs and the wife is earning zero versus a case where the husband is earning 22 lakhs and the wife is earning 12 lakhs or vice versa whatever you know so again the total is 34 lakhs which is better because they will pay less taxes than the person earning 30 40 lakhs in single name right he go he will go on to the higher tax bracket or she will go on to the higher tax bracket uh, all these things happen so it's very important that both earn well uh, or rather both earn right so that is step number 1 of course it matters how you uh, do your asset allocation what is your investment knowledge etc but if there is no high income there is very unlikely chance of that person creating wealth of course there are cases where a person earning high and big spender and not saving anything and <clears throat> blowing the whole money all those things are there but those are the exceptions i mean people will definitely quote celebrities in saying oh this celebrity earned so much but she or he blew away all the money did not save yes those are the exceptions i mean you if you read uh, morgan house's book there is that gas attendant i don't remember his name i think it was ronald or something um who saved a lot of money and died at the age of 92 with uh, 8 million us dollars these are the exceptions complete outliers now if you are a person who is saving very uh, who is very frugal and being able to save a lot and you are able to invest please understand if you are married and you have children and you behave like this there's a good chance that your children will be brought up very badly in the sense that the minute they start earning they will blow every rupee saying oh my father did not buy me this bird did not buy me that so let me go and burn money money right so that will also happen so see the overall package in the overall package for a person to create wealth you have to have income there is no doubt it's easy to say go and read this book and uh, you can manifest yourself all that is fine i have seen it but of course manifestation is important in fact i have written in my blog i have written an article saying the power of visualization yes you need to visualize yes you need my investment knowledge yes you need to have uh, understand asset allocation but please understand that only because you have a high income first of all you have the ability to take some risk for a person earning 6 7 lakhs and living hand to mouth uh, paying the rent or paying the emi whatever does not have the ability to take risk because you have high income you can say let's say you are earning uh, 50 lakhs between husband and wife and you can afford to put money in a small cap fund saying i know small caps have given a good run but even if they don't perform for the next 3 years i'll keep doing the sip because we have a high income if you don't have high income the chances of doing asset allocation putting more money in equities and all those things just are not possible so whatever people say that um, go and read books on manifestation go and read napoleon hills book and uh, the napoleon hills book of think and get rich is the most misquoted book go and actually read it he is not so much about money he talks about processes and procedures that you have to do to earn money well 
uh, I'm uh, speaking from uh, memory. I've read it long back. I think it's a very good book. But don't just think that you can uh, close yourself in the room, sit and think and you will get rich. I don't know from where people get such ideas. Unfortunately or fortunately uh, for us, all our examples have to be American because India does not spend enough time. So I cannot give you an Indian story of how a gas attendant or a shopkeeper or somebody put 50 rupees away every day for the last 40 years and created wealth. I can write a book and call it invest rupees 40 a day. But <clears throat> whether we have such stories, I wouldn't know. There is absolutely no denying that if you didn't have income, let's say <clears throat> a good income uh, in the 1950s would have been 500 rupees, in 60s would have been 1000 rupees. They would talk of a four figure salary and four figure salary was considered high in the 70s and 80s. It would have been a five figure salary in the 19s, it, uh, in the 90s, it would have been a six figure salary per, per month, right? <clears throat> so that that is how, uh, how what is good income changed. At that time, yes, you needed to live in a good locality where you had friends who understood about stock market, which means in the 1950s, 60s, 70s, <clears throat> not everybody was investing in equity markets the way people are investing today. There is a much better penetration now, but may still be only 2% or something of the country's population which has invested. So it's very important that you try to increase your income. Increasing your income can happen by the main breadwinner earning more and more, getting better qualified and seeking better jobs, maybe seeking a better location, working in the US, working in Saudi Arabia, working in India, wherever by doing that or by making sure that both husband and wife both earn reasonably well or both earn very well, then there is a greater chance of creating. I mean, I have seen corpuses of 50 crores, 75 crores being created by people in the first generation and that has happened because husband and wife both worked in IT or one worked in IT, one worked in a bank and therefore both got ESOPs, all that got in cash, they bought real estate, they lived there, it uh, value went up and there were less number of children, right? The uh, <coughs> When the husband is a single child and the wife is a single child and they have one child, it means a single grandchild on both sides. So some of that, some of those things are, uh, uh, I mean, one does see it, but these are anecdotal and they don't really matter. What matters is both husband and wife earning, which means for whatever reasons, if one person can't work, then the other person making sure that they earn well. So high income is the sine qua non of what I would say of uh, uh, creating wealth. There is no doubt about that. Uh, what else is necessary? So what, what is really <coughs> important is the income and uh, the knowledge, the ability to take risk because even somebody with a high income, if they have to support their family, uh, the father has died earlier, so the person is paying for younger children, younger brother, younger siblings uh, expenses etc. Then the ability to save money definitely goes down, therefore the ability to invest also goes down. So, uh, of course, there are exceptions when people earn high income and spend everything and blow off and don't invest. That is different. But the most important thing is income. That is a necessary condition, not a sufficient condition. For it to become a sufficient condition out of this, you know, the more you are able to save and the better you are able to invest and in better quality assets, obviously you will do well. So, in the US, the many people who got these uh, stimulus checks, got one or two checks, suddenly realized that they have got so much money, they never had so much money in their life. So it is not so much of an expenditure problem. So you will find a lot of videos saying if you don't have that uh, coffee every day in the shop and if you make it at home and if you cook at home, all that is fine. But the thing is, what is practical? The practical thing is to increase your income. Right. So if you are uh, if you are well qualified, uh, of course, it's very difficult to do two jobs, but something else that you can do, making sure that uh, the man of the house uh, helps in enough inside the house so that the wife is able to work. Right. That's the main reason why many women don't work, because the husband uh, does not help inside. Especially, that's definitely an Indian problem. I don't know whether it is a caste problem, but many guys do, many guys do. So, if by putting together the fact that uh, husband and wife both can earn and can save and invest. So, you will find a lot of um, videos showing that the poor are not saving enough and uh, 
they are spending too much but honestly on a 6 lakh rupee annual income if you are running a family paying rent paying emi etc which is 50000 per month minus taxes whatever is applicable maybe zero taxes will be applicable uh, at 6 lakhs then uh, life is not going to you are not going to be able to invest or you are not going to be able to do a 50000 per month sip that's your total income out of which you are paying emi you are paying children school fees there are two kids then their wife is not working so therefore uh there are household expenses of course uh, and all that and after that really nothing much will be left for you to invest to create wealth yes of course there will be some money there will be pf cut at source that is creating wealth for you all that is true but to have high uh to have a uh, to create wealth you need high income and the discipline to save and invest etc so if you ask me one single factor required for creating wealth it is high income everything else is secondary knowledge of investing asset allocation luck all that play a role there is no mistake if some of that goes wrong yes you will destroy well there is no doubt but if there is no income there is no chance of any saving how are you going to create wealth unfortunately or fortunately all the research regarding this is uh, us based so if you go to new york times or any of those places there will be lot of research there will be lot of women and men in the us saying i never seen so much money in my life uh, except for the stimulus checks all that is true uh, unfortunately there is not enough research in india but i don't think it requires too much of guessing to know what is important yes it's important that you uh, manage your money well etc but if you don't have high income you're not going to be able to create wealth that's a fact thank you